Yeah, I don't want my time here to be defined as just hashtags. <laughs> By the way, 149, be the difference, etc. But clearly what we've, we've brought to the club is a new social media angle, a new commercial angle. You know, we're, we're going to try to be commercially savvy. That's not just try to, you know, make money wherever we can. It's, it's, it's trying to attract new sponsors, uh, which is what we do throughout the summer. So all the advertising hoardings, we audit, we say, right, are they up for renewal? Are they going to stay with us? Are we going to get new sponsors, etc.? And so on and so forth. So it's a really busy time. I thought... Uh, probably naively for, for all our staff that the, the uh, close season was a time to sort of reflect and, and reinvigorate. Goodness me, we're flat out, we're flat out, we're selling advertising boards like we've never sold before, we're engaging with new businesses, the pitch has been completely dug up and relayed, that's happening also down at Apple Bridge. Um, we're doing some sort of housekeeping around the stadium in terms of some painting, fixing some seats. Um, it's a really busy, busy time. Really good question. I won't put any pressure on Phil and the players by saying, uh, you know, we expect promotion or anything like that. But for, uh, from a football point of view, uh, Phil has always delivered, hasn't he? You can't deny that. He's going to go down as one of the best managers we've ever had, certainly. And he's always achieved in every season. So we just missed out on the playoffs last year. So I think Phil would expect and would hope that, you know, we can go one better this year. That would be brilliant. What we want is this place rocking every home game. Uh, whereby we're winning matches or holding on to uh, draws if we're up against some of the top teams etc. Um, in that respect it would be great to see us challenging and I think we will challenge.